Hi, I'm your host, Chelsea Brown. I hope you all had a very wonderful Valentine's Day. Welcome to the February 15th edition of This Week in Cal Athletics. Welcome back to Haas Pavilion. There's a lot going on on campus this week, but the majority of the focus will be on the men's basketball team. After facing some fierce competition in Washington, the Bears return home in search of win number 14 and 15. Cal welcomes guests from Southern California for a weekend of intense Pac-10 hoops. One of the keys to success behind a strong program is the hard work of the coaching staff. I had a chance to talk with assistant coach Jay John as they take on USC and UCLA this week. Here's our conversation. Standing with me is coach Jay John. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Oh, yeah, delighted to do it. Yeah. Now coach, what is your role in preparing the team for such a big week? Well, I think all of us as assistant coaches, you're certainly you have your group of guys that you spend most of the time with. And like all of us, we'll meet, we'll all meet together and, uh, with the head coach and figure out how we want to attack certain things. And you know, bottom line is we're all in a, you know, in a support role to get our, you know, our guys ready to play uh, these games this week. And that's just a typical way of, of how you know offices and I mean coaching staffs operate. Now, coach, last time you played UCLA and USC, there were two points. You guys fell short on one of them against UCLA, and then you guys scored the buzzer beater against USC. This time around, how are you guys going to prepare this week? Well, it, it, once again, the, the as we said to the fellas last Saturday, Coach Montgomery said to him, "All right, we don't have Allen, and someone's going to have to step up. Uh, that person was Jeff Powers, and everybody's going to have to, you know, to play. But what you're telling your kids is you want to put yourself in a position to win the game." You, that's what you want to do in any game you play. Be in a position at the end of a game to make a play to win the game. And that's what you have to do as a particular team. You can't control what the other team is going to do and what they're going to bring to the, to the ball game. So as far as this week goes, it's, it's really it, it's no more complicated than continuing to do what we, we do as a team, but try to do it a little bit better. You know, then maybe we did the last week or the last time against them. Defend this particular action better. Anticipate this thing happening better. Uh, understanding, you know, where UCLA attack, tried to attack us. You know, understanding where we're better, where UCLA was vulnerable. USC, same thing. And then it goes back down to, you know, the the character, the effort, the 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 things that the kids do on the floor to make more plays. Uh, it's it's and that's what you know we, we were two point games either way in in down in Southern California anticipated being any different here probably doesn't make much sense they're probably going to be games to go down to the to the bitter end again now wrapping up the regular season and heading into the postseason play what do you find to be the bigger factor luck or skill well, I think it's kind of dorky to say I think at times that that uh, you know you create your own luck I do, I do know that people that, that, that bust their tail uh, on, on a particular endeavor can see opportunities better than those that are on their heels and, and, and you know, being lazy. So I think that, that you, you're not going to win three games in postseason, you know, in a conference tournament or in, in the actual uh, t tournament by, by luck. You, there's got to be ability there and then it's your team bond that allows you to maybe sort things out enough to win over 40 minutes. But, uh, you know, as we finish off this season and go forward, it's, we do have young guys on our team, and uh, we continue to try to express to them that there's more that they can improve on in the next month, that it's not over, they haven't hit their ceiling. So with this particular team, um, that's where we're, we're, we're headed, still trying to get more out of guys in the last month of the year and, you know, finishes on a high note as possible. Now, Coach, with Valentine's Day just yesterday, in the essence of love, why do you love the sport of basketball so much? Well, that's really, it, it, there's, you don't want a whole book, do you? You know, uh, the thing about the sport of basketball for me, it was just something that uh, as a player and as a kid, I just derived great joy from all the parts of the game and the competition in the game and the skill that that I worked on in my driveway and, and then honed in you know other small group uh, pickup games and then certainly as a player and uh, I just emerged as something that I uh, had a lot to offer to other young people 
uh, to in my own children. So, you know, just the fun about being with kids that, that have shared the same dream, that kind of were reared in a similar fashion and and they have talent with the game and it's it's fun to help those kids. We only get them for four years, you know, every now and then it might be a fifth year guy, but you're only part of their life for a short amount of time and to watch kids, you know, come in as freshmen and really most of them are clueless as freshmen and then they start to figure things out and that's the fun part you know they, then they start to grow and realize that they had more control over their development than they thought and once they figure out some things and that part's fun as a coach and it's enduring and it does keep you young and refreshed. Coach J. John thanks for your time and best of luck this week. The Bears are home to host USC at Haas Pavilion on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Come back out on Sunday when Cal and UCLA clash on the court in a 7 p.m. game. Tickets are still available for both games, so don't miss out on two of the last three regular season home games of the year. Call 800-GO-BEARS or visit calbears.com to buy yours today. The baseball team will host Utah at Evans Diamond for a three-game series beginning on Friday. First pitch for the game is at 1.30 p.m. Come back out and enjoy a day at the ballpark with 1 p.m. starts on Saturday and Sunday. Lacrosse gets St. Mary's College in a 1.30 p.m. game on Saturday at Witter Rugby Field. In the pool, men's swimming will put bragging rights on the line as they host Stanford for a duel at 1 p.m. on Saturday at Speaker Aquatics Complex. Rugby hosts UBC for a 3 p.m. game on Saturday on Treasure Island. Click to the rugby homepage for directions and more information. Men's Tennis welcomes UC Santa Barbara to Hellman Tennis Complex for a dual match on Sunday at 1 p.m. The action doesn't stop there. Plenty of teams are on the road for competition this week. Women's basketball heads to Southern California this weekend to take on UCLA at Poly Pavilion and USC at Galen Center. Softball is also in Southern California for five games in the San Diego State Tournament. Men's golf is in Hawaii for the John A. Burns Intercollegiate Tournament, and women's golf will take part in the Peg Barnard Invitational at Stanford. Men's gymnastics compete at the Stanford Open, and women's gymnastics is at UC Davis for a duel. Women's tennis is in Charlottesville, Virginia for the ITA National Team Indoor Championships, and women's water polo takes on San Jose State in the South Bay on Saturday. Remember, you can watch the Cal Sports Report on Comcast Sportsnet California every Wednesday. Check your local listings for availability. You can listen to Cal on the airwaves at KNEW 910 AM every Monday evening from 6 to 7 p.m. on the Cal Coaches Corner with host Todd McKim. Click above to see the CalBears.com composite schedule for a listing of all Cal events. And if you haven't already, check out the new CalBears.com bear blog. Thanks for tuning in to This Week in Cal Athletics. I'm your host, Chelsea Brown, and as always, we'll see you next week. Go Bears!